Hey there, it's Tammy with It's All About the Dogs. The Well with Positive Directions Canine Academy. And today we're talking about uh, top five rules for training your dog, right? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So when, you're, when you start training your dog, there's some things you need to be keeping in mind. Yes. So first one is that you need to be consistent. So be consistent with your commands. For example, um, a word that gets used too much is the word down. <laughs> On everything and I everything. you know what I really had a, a hard time with family members and people that aren't familiar with training dogs friends that um, they say down for everything mm -hmm. and it was like no that means if they're climbing up on you that is not down right down means to lay down on the ground right that is off that's a completely different word right so be right. consistent so they don't get confused right and it doesn't matter what word you use you can use another language you can use colors you can do whatever you want to when you're giving commands to your dog the most important thing is that those commands are consistent within their family group yes and do not say do not say sit down right <laughs> It is not sit down, it's not sit and lay down, it's sit. sit. It's not down for jumping up, it's off. Right. And down means lay down on the floor. So dogs don't come with language capabilities. They don't understand Chinese, Japanese, Italian, English, but any they, of it. They associate the sound of the word with an action. Yes. So if you say sit down and those are two separate commands, they're like, mm -hmm. yep, what do you want? Yep, Pick exactly. One. <laughs> exactly. And that may be why your dog stands there and stares at you. Uh -huh. Because, and then uh -huh. you're like, dut, 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 dut. and I know that you hate that more yeah. than anything. I, I really hate it when somebody throws a barrage of commands. <laughs> sit, 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 sit. Yeah. <laughs> so that brings me to the next one, which is follow through. If your dog can't, won't, um, doesn't understand, step in and help them be successful so that they understand what you are asking of them. Um, it's not really fair to say um, blibe to you because you don't have a clue what it means. Right. But um, if every time you got out of your chair, I pushed you back into it, eventually you'd realize that blibe means don't move. Don't right? move, yeah, Exactly. Right. So um, dogs have to associate a spoken word with a command about 500 times before they really start to, to figure it out. So. When you tell your dog to sit, if they don't sit, step in and help them sit so that they can be successful at it. Well, and that goes in hand in hand with not repeating yourself. Mm -hmm. I know the very first thing that you teach in one of your classes is when you teach your dog, this is the command, don't sit there and just say it over and over and over and over again. Right. You're not right. doing it, that's not doing any, anything. It's not doing you any them. good. And if you tell your dog to sit and they lay down and you're like, well, you're okay, in a position. Um, you're really telling the dog that what you say doesn't really matter and they can choose to do whatever they want to in the moment. And so it's really important if you've, if you've given your dog a command that you help your dog be successful with it. Um, like in my Manners One class, I teach you three ways to follow through so that your dog can be successful. Yeah. Um, and I don't mean manhandle and I don't mean force. Um, I mean show the dog how to be in those positions. Well, and that comes to the next point, to facilitate a predictable mm -hmm. behavior. And so you want them, if you wanna, if you wanna associate a behavior with a word, mm -hmm. that's something that you have to work on in conjunction with each other. And to exactly. make them feel like they're doing some, what you want. Right, and one of the biggest commands that you can facilitate an outcome is come. Um, put your dog on a long line and let them get distracted and then call them and if they don't reel them in like a fish if you have to there you go. <laughs> but um, now you've got the dog on um, the ability to be predictable with that behavior it's not fair to the dog to um, assume that they're gonna come to you and you turn them loose and then they don't and now you're frustrated and mad at the dog because they're running around like a crazy man when you haven't taught them when you haven't taught yeah, them exactly. what that really means Exactly. So until you've got a predictable, reliable behavior, you don't want to set your dog up to fail. We want to set them up to succeed. So do whatever you need to do to help your dog be successful within those parameters. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Well, and something then uh, along that goes along with it, you mentioned exposing your dog to different situations. And I know you have some CGC classes, mm -hmm. the urban dog uh, class mm -hmm. that you can take, where you take them out 
to a variety of public situations, mm -hmm. and um, then you do some training exercises, right? Yes. In those yes. in those situations to yes. get your dog used to mm -hmm. being somewhere else. Yes. Dogs are what they call situational learners, and what that means is your dog has to be put in multiple situations for them to understand that that behavior applies everywhere that they go. For example, you can't train your dog just at home and expect that to transfer at the vet's office. It just simply doesn't. No. Your dog does not think that way. And it is unfair of us to um, think that they do. Right. So we have to work within their abilities, not necessarily within what we think they're capable of. Exactly. Right. So, um, so yeah. So. Places that you can go with your dog would be um, obedience classes. You're in a secure, um, controlled environment where your dog learns how to behave around other people and dogs. Um, some other great opportunities would be places around town that are dog friendly. Lots so, of hardware stores are dog friendly. Lots of hardware stores. Most of stores. them are actually mm -hmm. in this town. Mm -hmm. I don't think of, you know, you've got Lowe's and Home Depot and uh, Ace and, and True Value. They all love to see dogs come in. And, I think Harbor Freight does too across the street. Yeah, we so. take the puppies to Murdoch's for a mm -hmm. build trip and Murdoch's has been really great about opening up their facility to us and letting the dogs come through and we practice things like greeting strangers, being polite about staying they on the floor. They love that. Most of the employees really like it when mm -hmm. people bring in their dogs yep. to yep. those places. And there's there's even, I've read that um, some Hobby Lobbies mm -hmm. and places like that are also pet friendly, so mm -hmm. you can bring in a well-behaved dog. Right. And then there's also outdoor restaurant uh, uh, mm -hmm. types of places, like yep. the bagel shop on Main Street and yep. Spoons. That, so if you're in an area where you might have the opportunity to do that, that's mm -hmm. a good thing to, to go out to lunch and take your dog. Yep. Sit yep, on the yep, patio. Yep. Go sit yep. on the patio. Um, Sonic is a great place. I like to go take my dogs and we sit out on the patio and if people want to come up and say hi, then I can control my dog and let okay. them say hi. Callisters is another one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. So the more places your dog frequents, especially during that important first year, the more well balanced and adjusted they are as an adult. The little things in life don't scare them quite so bad. Well and you know, like Lucy back here, sometimes sometimes, especially in her younger days, she would get so excited. And the more you take them to places like that on a regular basis, the less that that'll decrease. Mm -hmm. You know, they won't be so freaked out, and you'll be able to to enjoy being out there with them. Right. So that goes along with the being consistent. Being consistent. Right. So let's say you've got a dog that's um, just hardwired, and they just get so amped up and excited. Pull into the parking lot and sit in your car until they're calm, and then try to come inside. Yeah. Or if your dog never calms down. Um, sit there for five, 10 minutes and then leave. So you don't reward the dog for that behavior by letting them get out and be out of control inside the, the facility. So sometimes it's just a matter of sitting there and waiting a good five, 10 minutes, fiddle on your phone while you're waiting for your dog to calm down. Well, and, and don't give up taking don't give places. Up. Cause you know, and I've been guilty of that in a lot of ways with Lucy because she would get so crazed Mm -hmm. that it was it was hard for me to take her places but then as a, the more that I did take her places that toned down quite a bit because she got used to like oh okay I'm all right mm -hmm. she might be excited initially but then she got calmer as as we were there yes so if you give up on doing that and you're not consistent in how you do that and what you do while you're there mm -hmm. then they can that's not it's don't give up. Just if yes. you have if you have issues, call Noel. <laughs> well, that's what I do. Noel, oh my God. <laughs> so those are our five top tips for training your dog. Yeah. Um, so it's really not that difficult. Um, another really good thing to do. Um, so I'm giving you a secret tip here. Oh, this is a bonus. Yeah, a little bonus tip. Um, after you've worked with your dog, put them in a crate or a quiet room and let them relax for. 30 minutes to an hour. A lot of them need to decompress. They need to decompress and they'll remember more of what you taught them and they'll be more excited to come out and learn with you next time. Awesome. Yep. Good to know. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like, subscribe to our channel. We'd love to see you back. Thanks and we'll see you next time.